Welcome back everyone to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and today I want to talk about something a little bit different. So what we're going to talk about today is how you can find issues with your blueprints and how you could try to solve them. Also some of these steps should be taken before you're coming to the Discord and asking for help because around 80% of the time when people come to Discord and ask for help it's something very silly, they've forgotten to connect a single pen or haven't typed in a value in some location and basically the issue is very easy but it takes them quite a long time to figure it out also I have a tiny request for people who do come and ask for help it's all good it's not an issue but what I would like to ask from you guys is to uh, have more information about what exactly is not working because if you come to me and say hey listen my drag and drop is not working well it's quite the task for me to figure out what is the exact problem because we have drag and drop operation for so many things for player slots chests shops backpack so it's quite difficult so i need to know from where you're trying to move the item and where does it go to or what keys are you pressing or basically what are you doing and what what is the bad result that you are receiving and what is the good result that you are receiving so basically as much information as you can give me that will help me quite a lot to fix your issues and sometimes the game will give you an error message about uh, that something is wrong make sure you uh, screenshot that and post that as well so everybody can see what is the actual error itself and sometimes maybe there isn't any errors so make sure to also send us a screenshots about the locations in which the errors should be so if for example if the error is happening in a widget send a screenshots of those widgets blueprints so that it would be easier for us to figure out what is the issue so one of the steps that you could be taking to fix some of the issues is so I've made a couple of bugs in this project right here and so if we would now let's test this out so let's grab ourselves a backpack pick up some items and now if we would try to drop the items on the ground so I have medical box and a water so let's drop water on the ground the water got dropped but we didn't remove water we removed the medical box so let's try to do that again let's drop one more you can see we have two waters now if we drop another one we have three waters and the waters are gone now if we try to drop another one well nothing happened so let's let's now try to fix these issues so the first thing uh, what we want to think about is where we are starting from it code wise and where this everything leads up to so we are starting by pressing the keyboard key I to open up our uh, inventory so as we can see well that is working properly now the items are getting uh, displayed properly but once we drop something well we get an issue so let's that means that the issue most likely is somewhere at least it could be in the dropbox so what I would do personally first is go to the dropbox since we are trying to drag an item and drop it on top of the dropbox and here we have our on drop event which basically contains all the information so we need to cast to drag and drop item operation to retrieve its information so that's exactly what we are going to do cast to our drag and drop item operation and then we can use a node called print string and this basically allows us to print out all kinds of text so what I want to do in this case is I want to get the items index because that's one of the properties that we are passing along then we can also get a tag for example in this case well the tag doesn't really matter at least I would think so uh, since the item is getting removed from the correct location we are dragging from the inventory and item from the inventory is getting removed and also we need to get the item itself because well we drop one item but we remove a different item so what I want to do is simply we can uh, so this uh, has a single input but what we can do is for uh, strings we can use a node node called append and this basically allows us to print many uh, many things at once so I'm gonna print out the index in the A and I'm gonna do a slash and then I'm gonna print out a tag then I'm gonna do another slash and then let's see let's print out we probably want to split the item as well and let's print out the item name so the rows name so we're gonna print out the index a tag and the row name so now let's let's look what happens when we do this so let's press play and now let's try to let's pick up a backpack and let's try to drop 
an item. So we have a medical box. Let's have, let's actually have more items. So vest, let's try to drop this and you can see at the top left it printed zero. So you can uh, press the console button which is under the escape key next to keyboard key one. Press it twice to get this window right here and you can see it printed server. So that's the character which performs the action. And then we have zero, inventory and vest. So it did recognize that it is from the inventory and that it is a military vest and that's exactly what it is. But it removed amount from the medical box and it returned us the index zero. So that means that at this location we have an issue because our vest would be the index number three. Since well in the computers everything begins with zero so this is zero, one, two and three. So the first number should have been three instead of zero. So that means that at this point right here we already have an issue. So let's go to the step that we have before this and that would be our actual item widget. So let's look for our item widget which is in my case is the UI item data. Let's go to the graph and first thing that we do is on mouse button down. So let's make sure everything is connected so the execution is good. This is good. All of this is good and what we could do is on the drag we could do another print. So let's do another print and in this one let's print the index because well that's basically all we need to print as of right now since everything else got uh, transferred along quite nicely so let's just print out the index so on mouse button down we should receive the index so let's see let's pick up a backpack let's pick up an item and now if we drag see this is zero this is one no i don't want to move this is two and this is three. So that means that we have passed along the index correctly. Now the next step from, step from the clicking the mouse button down would be our on drag detected. And over here you probably might have already noticed the issue. What the issue here is that the index variable right here is not connected and it basically always returns zero. So it's always going to remove the item with the amount of zero. Now, so we have fixed this issue. So that means that now all the items that we try to drop should drop properly. So we have the, let's try with the vest. There we go. The vest got dropped. Let's drop this. There we go, we are dropping items properly. Now you might have already noticed another issue and the issue is that once we drop an item, well our text, our buttons in the middle disappear. And another issue is, well we can drop a battle axe, but if we try to drop another one, nothing really happens. So let's try to figure out this issue. Again, the issue happens with the drop event, nothing gets dropped, so let's go to our UI Dropbox. And over here, uh, simply uh, there is a simple way how to figure out whether you actually come to this location. Are you ever in this specific point and time in your blueprints? So what I simply will do is just simply print out hello. Uh, and that's all that I'm going to be doing. So now technically, if I try to drop something, it should print out hello. And I'm not even going to use a backpack. I'm just going to run it from here. So if we drop this, it does say hello. And if we try to drop something else, it does not say hello. So what that means is that, well, we are never dropping anything on top of our UI Dropbox. So let's see, what else do we have in our Dropbox? Well, nothing. So that's the only thing that we have in the Dropbox. So that means that probably we are not really actually creating this widget. So let's see. First, what I would do is check my UI inventory where I actually have the actual Dropbox. So there is the Dropbox uh, panel, which in the graph we are spawning uh, over here and attaching this to the panel. So we are spawning this if we are in our equipment, player or inventory panels, one of those three. Uh, and we are not drawing if, it, if it's in the shop or in the chest. So probably what I would assume is that, well, we are not in any of these routes right here. So let's see what we could do is probably over here. I'm going to hold control since I have multiple pins here. Hold control, let go and type in print string. Now let's reconnect this and let's connect our this position. And this is basically going to be uh, printed every time we run this event. So let's give it a try and let's look 
what's going on with the positioning. So let me pick up some items and let's see. So let's drop a pallet and it says nothing. It said nothing. So that's a big issue. So at first when we open up our inventory, it did say inventory, but then it said nothing. So if we press I, you can see it says inventory, drop a pallet and there's nothing in it. So that means that we are running our default route in that case because our this position value doesn't match with any of these var variables well these values right here so let's see um, let's go to our UI Dropbox and let's remove this hello as well because at this point I'm already pretty certain that something is wrong with the refreshing so this node is not going to do much so I'm going to go to the third person character and look for the refresh node so let's find our refresh inventory widget so here we have the position connected so that means that over here everything should be just fine we are passing along the value uh, that we are giving it so it's it's everything should be just fine over here also here I have my positions connected correctly I have connected over here and I have connected to the widget position variable as well so the last thing for me where to look at is in the Dropbox where we are actually running our refresh inventory widget and if we would go to the very end of it you can see that in the position I have nothing written in here so that means that well it's not gonna display my Dropbox so over here I can choose any of those three that I mentioned so I will use the inventory so we have the inventory one let's compile and save this and now let's give this another go let's pick up a backpack grab some items that we can drop and now if we try to drop some so we have a pallet boom axe arm piece vest another axe another axe and everything seems to be working just fine so we have fixed our issues so if you ever run into issues print string is a really cool thing make sure you begin whether at the end of the actual thing that is happening or at the beginning of it uh, for example uh, I began mine in both cases from the Dropbox so that's basically the end of the action once I drop something but you can always start at the very beginning and in this case it would be the keyboard key I so you can simply print that out or in the create widget you could print out the positions or classes or whatever values that you want to print out uh, you can print out just about anything uh, for example let's try over here let's type in print string node let's see we can drag this yes there we go we can drag even from our UI variable which returns the display name of it and in this case uh, if we open up the inventory it would give us the this name right here so the UI inventory we can do the same thing for any of our actors that we have in the in the world so let's say we have a we have the interactable uh, variable that we are using throughout this project so what you could do is simply drag from the interactable into the in string and it also gives you the display name so let's say this is the AI AI shop it's gonna retrieve the, inf uh, the this name and print it out on the str screen so this print string node comes in handy quite often probably some of you that I have helped through the team weaver has already seen me do this method this is very helpful it uh, it's one of the greatest tools to find issues in development in general not only in the unreal engine itself so I hope this gives you a better understanding of how to find issues and perhaps fix them on your own of course if you can't figure this out if 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 you have issues that are too complicated for you make sure to join my discord ask help over there in the help section but make sure to post screenshots of the blueprints that are not working make sure to also print screenshots of the errors that you are receiving and the whole error line so that we can see what is the issue and where is the issue do not cut, cut out any of the parts so that we can see as much as possible so that's going to be it for today's video uh, this was quite a bit different than usual but uh, tomorrow we're doing something a little complex math wise so this topic really comes in handy I actually should have spoken about this quite a bit earlier uh, but yeah today's topic is going to be a little messy it's it's not difficult but but it is a little bit uh, interesting so uh, this tool these tools might come in handy for you so like always thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe support me at patreon join my discord and I see you in the next video